we're celebrating moms, and these moms are spreading the love and helping children across the country. If that sound makes you laugh, quite all right. A flatulent baby duck is, well, funny. And that's the whole point of Andrew's Laughing Gas, a nonprofit started by Paul and Colleen Mercier. Laughter is the best medicine, they say, right? When you hear their story, you wouldn't think the Merciers would have much to laugh about. In December of 2019, they lost their 10-year-old son, Andrew, to a rare form of leukemia. We did a story with him just seven months before, where you would never know what he was going through just by talking to him. He, he was very strong through the whole thing, and his sense of humor never, never waned through the whole eight months that he battled it. Andrew really got to put his sense of humor into action while being treated at Johns Hopkins Children's Center when a staff member brought in a giant stuffed unicorn with a farting machine inside <laughs> and a remote control. And there he proceeded to prank the doctors, the nurses. He, it just brought him so much joy to, um, you know, prank all of, all of the people coming in to see him. His primary nurse, Leah Udimi, remembers those pranks fondly. He had the sanitation workers laughing. He had the surgeons laughing. You know, he had any and everybody laughing on that, that day. That laughter and joy is what sparked the idea for Andrew's laughing gas. About a month after Andrew died, Paul and Colleen raised enough money to buy a couple dozen stuffed animals, put the flatulent sound machine inside, and sent them to Johns Hopkins. <laughs> The animals were a hit, and their project took off. It just, uh, it just has grown beyond our wildest dreams. We never imagined uh, that it would get this big. In 2020, Andrew's Laughing Gas sent 550 stuffed animals to hospitals around the country and around the world. This year, they've already surpassed that number, and they say the response is exactly what they hoped for when starting this nonprofit. It was the first time they'd seen their, their child laugh since diagnosis. And even if that lasts five minutes, it, it's worth, it was worth it. As the donations come in, these gassy stuffed animals go out. And Andrew is there in spirit, laughing right along with each child who receives this special and unique gift. He reminds me every day, you know, make it, this kid smile. If anything, today, make him laugh once. He always wanted, that was his goal in life, to be famous. <laughs> um, and it, to think that he's famous for farting. was a baggie of Fruit Loops, a baggie of barbecue chips, and a stuffed animal in it. And you know, that's what he was sent with to our home. Um, and that's it. It's, it's just so raw and kind of right in your face that, you know, this is the reality for these kids. This is Natalie Hermans and husband Weston. They have four biological children and three foster children, two of which they hope to adopt very soon. Natalie says a fellow Anderson mom had these duffel bags and backpacks donated, but wanted to fill them with goodies for kids coming into care. So Natalie posted something on Facebook and within 10 minutes, she says she had 60 responses from people ready to jump in and help. Natalie says people were so incredibly generous with the donations from toiletries to clothes, toys, stuffed animals, diapers and wipes, bottles, you name it, it was donated. Natalie explains that it's already so traumatizing for children entering foster care, which is why it's so important for them to receive their own new items. She was in tears when she saw how much people cared. To know that the one shopping trip that they went on um, gave that child some hope. And they're making a huge difference. And I wish it could be something we could record and they could see. But just letting those families know that what you did makes a huge impact. And if our community joins around these foster families and these foster kids, you know, we all can do something. Our Mother's Day extravaganza ends with a reunion 50 years in the making. I wasn't whole and I needed to find her to become whole again. I thought this day would never happen and here it is. I'm thrilled. Warning, happy tears on the way. It's good to know.